Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with No Stranger. Uh, it looks like it's a sort of texting game. Uh, sorry about the noise outside. I have not tried it yet, so let's see how it goes. Enjoy.
try pressing that arrow. Because I'm enjoying this. I don't want to take a break. Okay. I wasn't sure if that would work. I think, uh... I got a code to remove ads, but it, it's possible that make plays an ad if you don't have it. Uh, alright, I'm gonna take a little break and Google on my computer, uh, so hold on, I'll stay with you, but I'm gonna be, uh, silent for a bit. That's kind of cool, um, but I'm going to keep continuing.
Okay, so I'm gonna go look up that website. Let's see. So the good life is now. Good life is now. All right. His last blog post was. Oh, geez, there are comments. Oh, this is so weird. This is some pretty. Wow. Um. You're not seeing this because I'm on. I'm not recording from my phone. Um, I'm looking at my PC, but let me try this. Okay, I think the last word is alive. It's pretty cool. They set this up like it's pretty meta. Okay, so back on his blog. What? That's crazy. Fifteen. There are a lot of comments. Um. are asking him where he'll be on 924 9 huh
It already says... I don't know why people are asking. It says on his blog he's going to be at an R&B festival. So... R&B festival. No, R and B. What? Uh, that's what it says on 924. Brooklyn it here. That's it, okay. It's weird that everybody's asking in the comments instead of just looking, but okay. And yes, he's taking Mama June. Okay, so got my browser open again. <laughs> okay, Google Maps. That's pretty. I like this game. All right, Google Maps. Let's see. So it's called Peter J. Sharp Building. Okay, uh, Street View. Peter J. Sharp Building. Oh! I'm on Street View. Okay. Oh, this is so weird um, that I'm doing this. Okay. Next to the Brooklyn Ken orange little orange guy. I'm 
trying to think. What am I? I see. Let's try this. Okay, so I think there's an open stage door. What street is it on? Um Lafayette? Let's try that. No, oh shit, sorry about the sound. Sorry about the noise outside. Uh, let's try here. Oh, Felix. Hold on. I'm on St. Felix Street. Let's try that. That works. All right. Cool game. Sorry I didn't do it with the maps. Maybe I'll figure out a way to do it on... Um, I didn't want to do it on my phone because... I don't know. It's a little... I don't want to end up showing private stuff. Um, <laughs> Can you look inside as well? It's a good question. Um, back to the map. Photo inside the ah, okay. Oh, this is crazy. This is so weird. So weird. Who's this guy with a photo? Who's taking a selfie? <laughs> no, come back. 
find someone with a beard and a mother by their side. A beard and a mother. Oh, let's see the dike. Beard and a mother. I see a beard at the bar. Don't know if he's with a mother. The tables. Ah! I think I see him by the bar. Okay. EMLM. Okay, that's weird. Things are getting weird now. Well, you get to feel like you're in a real city because they have all the honking. Now he's getting weird. I don't know if I like Adam anymore. God, stop honking. All right, let me let me enter this address. Tinyurl.com. God, people are really impatient out there. Flubberton. Riddle. Oh, riddle one. That means there's gonna be more. This is a Flubberton riddle. There was a town of Flubbertons. Nice, jolly creatures. It wasn't a beautiful night. Um, hold on. It wasn't a beautiful night like any other in Flubberfall due to the huge fog that had set over Flubberfall due to the annual flood. That day, there was a dead Flubberton, the Flubber Trumpeter, found in the town hall. There were five Flubbers in the hall at the time. Flubber Mayor number one, Flubber... Doctor number two, Flubber clerk number three, Flubber teacher number four. And you, the Flubber detective, happen to be in the hall as well. God. Uh, <laughs> the Flubber mayor said he was in his office signing legislation when he heard the trumpeter cry out. The Flubber doctor said he was with the Flubber teacher checking out the town records. The Flubber clerk said he was in the observatory at the time of the murder watching the stars. The Flubber teacher concurred with the doctor. You claimed you were doing detective work and couldn't disclose your doings. Needless to say, the Flubbers have united against you and will execute you if you don't find out who murdered the trumpeter in five minutes. Defend yourself. Who really murdered the trumpeter? I only have three minutes now. Um, okay. He was in his office signing legislation when he heard the trumpeter cry out. The Flubber doctor said he was the Flubber teacher checking out the old town records. Uh, there was a... I don't get it. They're fog. Heard the doctor. What? What happens if I just answer?
Okay, I just guessed. It was three. <laughs> so it was the clerk. Can't see the stars with the fog around. Can we, Mr. Flubber and Kirk? Ah, uh, oops. How's today treating you? Okay, so I should have gotten that, but I was... Worried I was running out of time. Alright. I feel like this game's trying to psychoanalyze me now. Uh oh. Okay, so it's. 12 a.m. right here, so that's not happening now, but. And I probably wouldn't do it anyways. I don't know how long this game is. I might have to take a break and go to sleep. Oh no. Oh, A personality test? Ah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. This probably would be better if I do it on, uh, Well, you kind of need a second screen, so let's see. Paste. Uh, all right. Tinyurl.com slash my playlist. Listen. Is this going to be music? Oh, it's Spotify. Uh, I don't remember what my Spotify... Oh, man. What? Oh, shoot. Whatever. I didn't do the personality test. I did the Spotify thing. I missed that. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to do the personality test. Uh, 16 person. Personality test. Okay. Takes less than 12 minutes. You find it introduce your. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people, yes. You often get lost in thoughts you ignore or forget your surroundings. Somewhat agree. 
You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand in a messy inbox. Uh, to some degree. You find it easy to stay relaxed and focused even when there is some pressure. Disagree. You do not usually initiate conversations. I somewhat agree. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. Somewhat agree. You feel superior to other people? Not really. Uh, being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. Ha! Uh, I'm neither. <laughs> Um, disagree? You're, I don't like these. I usually mess, I usually, I don't know. You're usually highly motivated and energetic. Eh, not really. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Mm, disagree. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Agree. Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Disagree. Do not mind being at the center of attention. Disagree. Consider yourself more practical than creative. Uh, agree to an extent. People can rarely upset you. Disagree. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Agree. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. Uh, agree, I guess. In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. Um, agree. You rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. Disagree. You work, your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized approach. Agree. You are often envious of others. Agree. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. Agree. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project, I guess. You rarely get carried away by fantasies. It is long. You rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Uh, disagree. You find yourself lost in thought when you are walking in nature. Agree. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying you said something wrong. Very much agree. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up and grow up kind than smart. Um, I guess agree. That's kind of want both. <laughs> you do not let other people influence your actions. Uh, disagree. Your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. Agree. I'm only halfway through. It does not take too much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Uh, disagree. You are more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Uh, somewhat disagree. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Disagree. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. No, not at all. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. Um, maybe a little. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. Well, like, yeah, I guess. You are relatively, you're a relatively reserved and quiet person. Yes. You have a, if you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees, definitely. Um, you often contemplate the reasons for human existence. Agree. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Agree. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Uh, somewhat agree. If your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Um, disagree. Next. Uh, you rarely feel insecure. Disagree. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. Disagree. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. I'm going to say agree. 
You think that everyone's views should be respected regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not. Disagree. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Um, disagree. You frequently misplace your things. Agree. You see yourself as a very emotionally stable. Uh, disagree. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Somewhat. You would not call yourself a dreamer. gonna stay in the middle there you usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people yes very much agree generally speaking you rely more on your experience than your imagination agree you worry too much about what other people think agree i think i'm almost done if the room is full you stay closer to the walls avoiding the center agree you have a tendency to procrastinate until there's not enough time to do everything agree you feel very anxious in stressful situations agree you believe there's more warning to be liked by others than to be powerful. Agree. You have always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things, uh, such as art, books, and movies. Agree. You often take initiative in social situations. Disagree. Results. Okay. I'm an INFPT. So I'm 89% introvert. All right. So let me enter it. INFPT. tired um My music taste can't be defined in in a words. What I'm gonna say, I'll just go for that. That's my cat going crazy. Um, mystical lady creature. Mystical lady creature. Wow. Uh, Google's already filling it in. There must be a lot of people either playing this game or I don't know. Mystical lady. Um, is this the right thing? I don't know if this is the right thing. Uh... Yeah, a lot of people are searching for this, I see. Google's like filling in the name of the game. Um, all right, so getting this mystical lady, but no creature. Uh, I'm not really sure. This doesn't really tell me much.
Mystical lead. All right, I'm gonna just say advocate for women's equality and rights because I don't know what this. Oh my god. Is this going where I think it's going? It might be. Is this about Milo? Um, Julio Felinopius. I think this is about Milo. Okay. What's his Tumblr? His Tumblr is the Fabulous Wonder Man. What up? Thanks, Tip. The Fabulous Wonder Man. Okay. Oops. I put in the wrong. I had a typo. Before you tell someone to check their privilege, check your facts. An ad keeps playing, um, but I can't seem to stop. Uh, yeah, okay, so I definitely don't agree with this guy. So, mystical lady creature. I'm assuming I even saw the right thing. I don't know. What? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna search Noel and Julio. When they're both gonna be in the US. Alright. Oh, who you? <laughs> Oops. Alright, so tour dates. They're both gonna. Alright. Oh, shoot. Noel Savior. Noel Savior. I don't know. I can't seem to stop that from playing. Um. So I have got dates for his tour date, his tour. Tour dates. Alright, let's see. When is she touring? Oh my god, why are there ads on this? This is getting annoying. Um, I don't know. Alright, you know what? I'm going to try the dates on his site. So, let's see. Uh, 10 one
thought that was the right one. Um, this is a longer game than I expected. Yeah, this is a surprisingly long game, considering I'm fast-forwarding everything. He's an author and he wrote a part, A-P-A-R-T, that's kind of bothering me. That's so weird calling me a helper. Uh oh, another riddle. Control freak. Okay, gotta get ready to type again. Oh, wow. Why so long? 
All right, I guess I'm going to take a break now because I don't want to end up stuck. I'm tired. Um, so I'll come back for the riddle in tomorrow in the next video. Uh, but check it out. If you're enjoying this, no stranger. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.